I did eight interviews at the health conference, 10 at the Chime conference, and an additional five, I believe, at the healthcare to healthcare event. And the five things, and one of the questions I, I kept posing was, what's top of mind? And I talked to a lot of CIOs, and that's people I interviewed and people I didn't interview. I, I would say, what's top of mind? What's, what's going on in your head right now? Mm -hmm. These were the top five things I think that kept coming up. Number one was labor. So loss of staff, competition for staff. So loss of staff due to vaccinations, loss of staff due to not being able to connect with them, them getting better offers. I heard of people in remote locations, their they're, people are getting snatched up by Deloitte, Accenture, and they're given 20, 30% pay increases, and they still get to live in South Dakota. And this the whole theater, new world, right, has created that situation. Yeah. They have that labor issue, the, the loss of staff and the competition for staff is, is getting steeper. In fact, some of, the, some of the health systems said, we didn't normally have a lot of staff from this health system apply to our health system or go after them. He says, but it seems to be no holds barred at this point. I mean, there's if you're not paying your Epic staff enough, the hospital just around the corner, and by the way, just around the corner could be two states over. Just around the country, that's right. <laughs> you hear these stories that you don't, they're hard to attribute, but somebody who has an epic analyst who's working for their health system and then also side hustling, working for some other health system at the same time. And eventually it gets sort of smoked out and there's the, you know, time to face the music situation. But I think we have a lot of folks who are like that too. They realize they can take advantage of this new world, of this new environment. And whether it's try to work two jobs at the same time or just try to work on the other side of the country, there's the advantages to the folks with the skills right now. Thank you.